welcome back to OG Reefs and Aquarium. So, we got a package here, and we're gonna try something new. Now, <clears throat> first of all, if you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. It's the only way you keep up to date with, well, with my, uh, I got sidetracked, with my videos and things, and you might just learn something, you might teach me something. What, one thing we're gonna do is together, is learn, experiment. So BRS, so I got some, my favorite reef glue, Seacrum, it's, it's um, reef glue, it's pretty thick, goes on by Seacrum, I like it because it's thick. Now, to be honest with you, it doesn't glue as fast as I like, in other words, it doesn't set, it takes about, I mean, 30 seconds of us, that's not a long time, but still, but it holds great. And underwater, it's really, really thick. So I'm like, okay. Um, some Bullfreak GFO. Now I am using, was that Ross, Ross, Ross Pole, Ross Pole right now, or is Ross, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, I don't like it, guys. I don't think it's as effective. It, uh, even after running continuously for five, 10 minutes, it still has like a burgundy color tint to that comes out of the water every now and then I, I just i don't know anyway this stuff here the high capacity gfo granular grade works great this i've dropped my phosphate literally three days three three points easily so i like this run it a slow drip good stuff and now this is what the video is about Flatworm stop and coral booster. Now, first of all, I don't have flatworms. But so what I was looking is because I went through a time that I was experiencing an increased elevated amount of STN. Right now, phosphate is a little high. This is about 0.14. So we addressed all that, got it down. Nitrates are a little high. They're about Everything's about 0.9 now. The phosphate's still high, but 0.9. Nitrates are about 7, 9, so we're okay. Magnesium, about 14.08 is that some of the look. Uh, calcium is about 4.20. And alkalinity, I'm running about 2, no, sorry, 8.35, 8.4. Steady, no problem. So all the permits there, got coralline algae growing everywhere, everything is great. But I still ran to some cases of RTN at times and STN. So I'm looking online, I'm looking online, like what could it be? What could it be? It could be a bacteria flame, you know, I, I, I dose Microbacter 7, but maybe my bacteria's out of balance, boom, boom, boom. I added live rock, I, 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 uh, I did a deep clean of the uh, refugion, I thought, I thought maybe there was, you know, uh, Decay and I just cleaned everything. You know, I I took half of the refugion out and I, I purged that. I mean, I went through everything, deep cleaned everything. So I'm like, that can't be it. So I'm looking online and people. Well, one guy goes, well, do you have flatworms? Not that I've seen. But then I start looking in it, start looking into it, and I start reading on the website for flatworm stop. And I, and it's amazing between BRS. Uh, the reef communities, YouTube, um, just reading and read, reading that people are seeing great results from running flatworm stop. Just as a preventative, if nothing else, just a preventative against flatworms, even if I don't have it. But what they've seen is that they get ex extended polyps. They're, 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 uh, uh, um, the corals are meatier, for lack of a better word. They're, they, the people who have claimed who have STN saw corals recover. It just seems that there's something in flatworm stop. It just makes the coral healthier. It just, so what it basically what it does, <clears throat> so flatworm stop doesn't get rid of all the flatworms. And for lack of a better term, makes your corals taste, they don't taste good to flatworms. So flatworms have nothing to eat and they die. Okay. But by doing that, it increases the Flatworm, uh, lack of a better, makes them stronger, I guess you could say, right? Makes them more healthy, right? 
So I start reading it. I'm thinking, okay, this is interesting. This little bottle is 60 bucks, so it's not cheap. And I'm thinking just, and I start going, and I couldn't find anyone that had anything negative to say. Now, there's a few people that say, yeah, it doesn't stop flatworm. Well, I don't have flatworms to stop, but it's a good preventative measure. And then there's also some big coral farms who run this because they said that it does, will help with RTN and STN. Alk swings, salinity swings. This makes it pretty much, uh, for lack of better words, you still need to maintain those, but your corals are stronger, better off because of it. And in conjunction with it, they're running Coral Booster, right? So the two of these together, it's almost like a uh, COVID shot, <laughs> a boost. It just makes the overall health coloration, extension, growth. So Coral Booster is great for frags. So I see there's many, many, I could just post them. I'm, I'm gonna actually post them on the screen. Many, many people, reviews, five star, five star, five star, said that their frag growth within three days took off. Many, many people, everyone says, I couldn't find any review lower than 4.7. Got the running flatworm, stop. Got the overall look, health, extension, growth, uh, 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 the, just, just the structure, the, 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 the tips. The, and people even said that they had burnt tips running high elk, that they had recover over a period of time because they were running this, right? So what the heck? Now I went to the website, um, it can't hurt. If anything else, it's a preventative measure and I love SPS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the tank and we're gonna dose this in this for the measured, uh, what is it? I gotta look it up, I think it's one milliliter. Oh, that's an Italian, I see here. You got one milliliter per 25 gallons every two days. Daily dosage, okay, daily dosage against problems. So dose one milliliter per 25 gallons every two days. So one is 25, so that'd be four, about four milliliters of this. And this is Coral Booster, and it's a 110 gallon tank. And gosh, we're gonna need my glasses. Anybody out there can't see like me? And this is a, uh, well, when I figure it out. Um, this is also one millimeter for 25 gallons. Now, what I was to do is I have a doser. I'm currently running um, all Apex equipment, but I have a JBO doser that I might just hook up because it's not really necessary to be so precise with it. That's why I don't use it for my calcium milk and things like that. But for dosing three to four milliliters of this every few days, I think it'd be great. So I'm gonna try it off now. We're gonna, we're gonna take some pictures before the tank. We're gonna add this. Then we're gonna finish this video. And then we're gonna make a video three days from now. And do some crawl, do some comparison to see if we see any changes, right? Like I said, I can't find anything, any negativity, anything negative as well about running this, right? Because if I can get better calcium, if I can get better crust, crusting, if I can just, now I have a couple crawls in there who have slow STN. And let's see what happens. You know, I'm not gonna frag them. I'm gonna leave them be and I'm gonna run this and let's see if it really works. I mean, I can't find anything that says it doesn't. And there's two large, coral farms. One, I actually text their, <clears throat> I text their uh, support. One was Pirate Corals and the other asked me not to say their name, but they said they go by this stuff by gallons. And they would never, well, I understand flatworm stock, right? Cause they have so many, they mean their whole livelihood stands on Acropora and, and that type of thing. But they say that they pretty much clean and they're pretty much a clean state. Now they, the wild stuff gets, gets quarantined and stuff, but they just run this. And if they don't see flatworms or have worms, they will never stop running this because they truly believe that it cut their loss of life about half. And for color, extension, and just the overall appearance. Enough talking, color boost. Let's get to the tank, let's get those.
All right, so it's uh, one milliliter for every 25 gallons, which means at 110 gallons, we're gonna just go slightly under. We're gonna go at four milliliters. So this is five, so we'll barely fill it. And this is flatworm stop. And that's a little less than five. Now you don't have to turn off the scammer or anything either. All right, so it's flat warm stop. And then we're gonna run and put the coral booster. I'm gonna take you guys close, get a good look at the tank, and then we'll come back in about three days and see if we see any difference. Let's see if we can actually get a little closer. The Walt Disney. I'm here today as my quest for true love has hit many walls in the past. I've thought for many years now that maybe love isn't meant for me. I have been down the aisle once before and have realized that being married is not a right, it is a privilege and an honor. I promise that from this day onwards, you will be my everything. You will be my first priority. I'm here with you taking a massive risk. 